Hi all, welcome back to Order 16 Development Tutorials. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to install Order 16. We know Order 16 comes with exciting new features, a better user experience and more improvements in performance. Order 16 requires Python 3.8 and PostgreSQL for the database management system. So let's start from the very beginning. Before installing Auto16, you must ensure that your system is updated and upgraded. So let's open terminal and we can update and upgrade our system using the commands sudo apt-get update and sudo apt-get upgrade. So I am updating my system using the command sudo apt-get update. Once it is done, we can upgrade our system using the command sudo apt-get upgrade. After the system is upgraded, we have to install Auto 16. So for the purpose, let's use the block of Auto 15, which will be similar, but there will be some difference in some cases, but let's discuss those in details. So let's see if the system is upgraded. The system is upgraded successfully. So let's check the block for installing order 15. After the system is upgraded, we have to install the Python 3. So the command is sudo apt get install minus y python3 pip. Since I have already installed Python 3 in my system, I am skipping this step. Also, after the Python 3 is installed, we have to install the necessary packages for Python 3. And this can be achieved using this command. I am also skipping this step as I have done this earlier. Once the necessary packages for python 3 is installed the next step is to install the web depend dependencies for installing the web dependencies you have to run these shown commands i am skipping this step also because i have already installed the web dependencies Next thing is to install the wkhtml to pdf package. So this can be installed using the commands shown. Uh, since I have already installed this package, I am skipping this step. We know Odo uses PostgreSQL for database management. So we have to install PostgreSQL in our system. PostgreSQL can be installed using the command sudo apt-get install PostgreSQL. So I have already installed PostgreSQL in my system. So I am skipping this step. 
After PostgreSQL is successfully installed, then we have to create a database user role for handling auto databases. This can be done using these two commands. So first, let's enter to Postgres using the command sudo su postgres. Then we can create the user for handling order 16 databases using this command. So I am copying this one and pasting it in my terminal and I am changing the username to user Udo 60. Then we have to enter a password for the new role. You have to remember this password since it is used in future cases. Enter the password again. Now the next step is to make the defined user a super user. For that we have to enter to PSQL. So we have to enter to PSQL using the command PSQL. Then we have to alter the user with super user using the command alter user username with super user. The username is user order 16 with super user. The command is successfully run and the user role is altered. Now we can exit using the command slash q and exit. and enter exit the next step is installing the source code for auto 60 for that we have to install git using the command sudo apt get install git uh, i have already installed git in my system so i am skipping this this step then the next step is to clone the source code into a directory in our home directory. So for that the git clone command is used. So we know that git clone. Uh, here we are giving the address for, uh, for the auto source code. And the last order 15 is a newly creating directory so we can copy this one and then we can paste it in our terminal and we have to check the branch name for order 16 source code in order github so here we can see that we have the branch 16.0 so we have to clone this branch into our local directory so we have to change the branch name shown given here from 15.0 to 16.0 and the directory name is given as auto 60 and click enter so you can see that the auto 16 is cloning that is the source code of order 16 is cloning into a directory order 16.
after the successful compilation of the clone command odo16 will be installed in our system so in this case odo16 will be or the source code of odo16 will be installed in the home directory in a directory called odo16 so this is how we can install odo16 in our system hope you got idea about this thanks for watching